Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As promised, I decided to do a review on the new Lancome holiday set that I got. I'm going to be showing you guys some swatches, telling you my first impressions and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys like this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you want to talk, leave me a comment. So let's just get right into it. Um, in case you're wondering, a lot of the makeup that I am actually wearing on my face today is stuff from this holiday set. So this is what the box looks like. I showed this in the what I got for Christmas video that I just did. Um, that's what the back looks like. And it comes with 11 full size makeup products and I don't know, that's awesome. It comes with two bags too. The first bag that it comes with is obviously the one um, pictured on the box. This is what it looks like. Um, it's like, it's kind of like a navy black, um, but it is leather. It's cute. It also comes with um, this on the handle, which you can also take off if you don't want it on there. So I thought that was really cool, but I like it on there right now. <laughs> and then um, you open it up. Oh, and the, the zippers are also really, really cute. Ah, so cute. Um, okay, so let's get inside of it. So the inside is all plain. There's not really any extra pockets or anything. It just has the Lancome Paris logo. Um, and then the front of it is, it's actually pretty stiff. So it's not really that flimsy, which is also nice. Put that right here so it's beautiful. Okay, and then inside that bag it comes this gold bag. Um, it's just metallic gold all over. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then the um, zipper also has that really cute. Oh, let's see if I can show you it. Yeah, that is just so pretty. I think that that's a really nice touch on these bags. It's a little like rose zipper. But yeah, so that's that bag that comes inside the other bag. And now it's the fun stuff. So the first thing that it comes with is a dual ended brush. Um, I don't know if you can see in that plastic. I can take that out. So it comes with the angled brush and then that side. You can see that too. Um, but yeah, it's really soft on this end. This end's kind of stiff. Um, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but when I do that, like, dust comes off of it and I haven't used it yet. So that's kind of, um, the next thing it comes with is a advanced Genifique. Is that how you say it? Genifique. It's a youth activating serum. Um, I've used this a few times, but obviously, like, I'm not going to see any results in the, like, four times I've used it. But it's very, very smooth. It dries. Um, when it dries, you don't really feel like you have anything on your skin, so that's very nice. And it also comes with a black ebony, number 602, black ebony Lancome um, eyeliner. This stuff is really nice. I found that it stays on my waterline really good. So I'll do a swatch for y'all. See, and that's like, that's pushing really lightly and it shows up that dark. So, this is a really good eyeliner to have. So, I'm glad that, that it came with that. It also comes with a mascara and a mascara primer. This is actually the first mascara primer that I've ever tried. Um, so, the packaging's nothing special. Just just has that little writing right there. Um, the inside, it's a white formula. Uh, it has a slight smell, nothing real strong. Um, this stuff dries really stiff. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've ever used a mascara primer, and when I use this, it dries fast. Um, it applies pretty decent, um, and it makes the mascara blacker, and it makes it last longer. This would also actually help um, like your curls stay longer, too, because like I said, it does dry pretty stiff. But this stuff is also pretty hard to get off once you've applied the mascara. Um, so here's the mascara. And the brush on this is really cool. The only thing I'm not a big fan of, actually I won't wipe it off. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is there's random spots on it that will just fill with mascara. And the formula is very wet right now, which is really nice. Um, 
I hate once it starts clumping up. So this stuff you can build really well. Um, probably one of my favorite mascaras that I've had so far as well. Um, but yeah, using these two together, it will last forever. I'm actually going to put a little bit of this on my hand too, just because of what I'm going to try to do later. <laughs> so that is that. And it also comes with two lipsticks. One is called Fashion Icon. It's a metallic lipstick and it's like a dark red maroon color. You can see a lot of the shimmer in it. Um, let's do that to y'all. What I like about this is it's very creamy. Um, it's also It can also be applied pretty sheer. Yeah, that's still pretty sheer. Um, so we have that color and we have this color which is called Love It and it's a cream lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick so far. Um, so there's that. Oh, it's so beautiful. No, but the reason I say that is I've been looking for a perfect nude lipstick and a lot of the lipsticks that I tried, they're very pink. Um, they're too light or they're too brown. And um, so I haven't been able to find a perfect nude. And this one actually, it just matches my lip color so well. Um, it's also pretty sheer and you can kind of build it up. So that's another reason why I like these two lipsticks is because if you're just starting out um, and you don't want to wear a really dark, bold color, these would be a perfect one to try out. And it comes with a blush. I think the name's a plum. A-P-L-U-M. <laughs> um... I've used this, obviously I haven't used that um, brush, but that's the color, it's a, a very plummy color obviously, um, I don't know if the swatch will show up too well for you, like that's, but it's, it's really the perfect color, I have very fair skin, so, and I am wearing this right now, um, I have very fair skin, and it's not overly pigmented, Blah, 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 pigmented so a lot of times if you try to put on blush and it's really pigmented it just makes your whole face look like you're I don't know you ran a mile or something so this is very safe um especially if you're just starting out with makeup because you really can't over apply this um at least I haven't been able to so far and I actually put a lot on today because I knew I was going to be in front of this light um but yeah so this is awesome another good thing about it is it smells so good and it's kind of ironic because I think that's a flower on the in, on the um, the imprint there, and it smells very florally, but it's not. I don't know. It's not over, overpowering. It's very subtle, and it just smells so good. And it comes with two eyeshadow palettes. We will start with this one. I'm going to swatch and insert a picture for you guys so that you'll be able to see it. But that's what the inside looks like. Um, there's only two matte colors. This color and this color are both matte. All of the other colors are very shimmery. But yeah, I'll insert a picture right now. And then the next one is in the gold. And you know what I just noticed? Why does this one have a Lancome on it and this one doesn't? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so... This lonely eyeshadow, this is all metallics. They are very, very pigmented, very bold. Again, I will list, I will list, <laughs> I'll insert a picture of the swatches of this one right here. And I think I covered everything besides this guy. And this stuff is amazing. Um, it's the, it's a eye makeup remover. And it's so cool. It comes with like a, kind of like a medicine top. Like you need to push down and open it but the surface of it's really cool too um the reason I saved this for last is because I wanted to show you how easily it takes that off let's see what side do I want to use and this stuff smells really good too it doesn't smell um like really chemically chemic is that a word chemically doesn't smell like chemicals <laughs> But um, it just smells really refreshing and everything. So let's see how this works. I have it on this cotton swab. So that was one pass through. This is really hard to do when you're not looking. This stuff is amazing. I feel like I need to kind of apologize because in a lot of my videos, I just... 
I don't know. I feel like I come off like I kind of have a bad attitude or um, that I'm just annoyed or something. And I don't mean that at all. Um, for those of you who've seen some of my other videos, you will know that I struggle with depression and anxiety and stuff like that. And I have been having a rough time figuring out some medications right now. And it sucks though because I really don't want to come off like I'm annoyed or something on camera so I'm sorry if my smile seems fake sometimes and stuff like that just know that I don't intend anything by it and this is really like the only thing that helps me feel better right now so um yeah just please support me and join me on my, my <laughs> um, I promise I will get better that is my goal and I will accomplish it so yeah guys until next time bye <laughs>